What's one gender stereotype that you absolutely despise? And get boners only when they're horny. No. That shit's pretty much random. I mean. Do you think I have control over this thing? If he's hard. He's just gonna be hard. If he's hard when you don't want him to be tense the muscles in your leg. It redirects the blood flow causing him to go limp. People who are really close friends with someone of the opposite sex must be ducking and or dating them. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Stranger. Men are always a pursuer. And only men have short hair and women have long hair. The number of times people have talked about me behind my back when walking. Only for me to turn around and duck them over with my face hair is two men at a number. Women with short hair automatically are gay. It just isn't right to assume sexuality due to someone's hair. That all men care about is sex. No, we don't. I don't give a single shit about sex and never have. Edit for those curious. I'm not asexual. I masturbate all the time. Also, this isn't some boo who I can't get laid so I just don't want sex thing. I've just never really had an interest in sex. Never. In my entire life. It's just not appealing to me. Edit 2 I've been told asexuals still masturbate and can feel sexual attraction. Forgive my ignorance. That being said I really doubt I'm asexual. That girls women like pink. I absolutely hate pink. My favorite colors are greens and blues. I even banned pink from my baby showers. Both of them. And I had two girls. Yeah I'm a guy and if I tell people pink is my favorite color they will go behind my back and say oh he's gay because I heard he likes pink so annoying. Who gave genders colors? At all women are dying to get married and have babies. That is not the case with me. My mother blames the devil whenever I say this. Feminine men are automatically gay. And masculine women are automatically lesbian. Gay man here. It's also very annoying that the stereotype of gay men is that we're all feminine. And don't care about romance. Yet are simultaneously expected to provide a romantic experience. I could never understand this. Guys are stereotyped as the ones without feelings. But they are also supposed to be the ones who initiate the relationship. If you don't have feelings, you wouldn't want to be in a relationship. That men shouldn't express feelings and cannot be sexually assaulted. Anyone can be assaulted. It's never acceptable. And everyone has the right to feel things and express that. It's absolutely not something to look down on someone for. If someone trusts you enough to share deep stuff, respect that. Don't be a jerk about it. That all men are good with cars and love driving. I don't know anything about cars. I could change a flat tire. But I couldn't do anything more complicated like changing the brake pads or installing a new stereo. If the garage tried to explain anything in detail when stuff goes wrong, they may as well be talking a foreign language. I didn't learn to drive until I was almost 30, and only because I needed to for work. I don't exactly hate it but, given the choice, I'll let my wife drive everywhere and she does love it. That men aren't allowed to cry or feel show emotion. That stereotype has contributed to many men taking their own life and it's one we need to stop enforcing on future generations. Apparently, it's not very manly to like cats. Duck that. I love those fluffy furballs. Even came up with the idea that women faint at the sight of blood like WTF do you think happens for at least 3 days a month. 3 days? Man. I wish. Clothing. I demand better pockets and more comfort. Edit. Yes I don't buy crappy pockets pants I speak with my wallet but it doesn't really make much of a difference when just one person does it. I rarely buy clothes to begin with. Thank you for brand suggestions. This will help for my next clothes buying season. D. All women love babies. I don't dislike them and I love my offspring. But I'm really not a baby oriented person per se. I'm a woman and I find them cute but I don't want them to touch me ever. But I can open pickle jars. Thank you for the levity in such a heavy thread. I can't cry. Like being emotional is considered weak when we're all human at the end of the day. Women can't be the bad guy, you know. Why does she put up with her husband being a dong? Well maybe it's cause she's also a dong. 
The idea that girlfriends are bitches cause they're reacting to their boyfriends. Not just because they're shit people. Or the idea that someone's mother will always love them and that bad behavior is something you should forgive. Even just the idea that women are bad, rude, disrespectful, whatever because of something. In reaction to something. Whereas men just are bad by nature. Men with no social skills who can't hold a conversation are seen as smart but socially inept. Women with no social skills are dumb and simple minded. I see that sometimes with dating. Sucks as an aspie girl. Men can't be sexually abused or assaulted. And the fact that if they are assaulted there is often no punishment. Especially stuff that's verbal and not physical. People can never get their stories straight on whether or not it is okay or not for men to cry. I mean like personally I think it's only okay to cry in public if something horrific happened like you just found out your mom died or you just got shot but in private have at it regardless of reason. Men can't show emotions. If you are angry as a woman, you are on your period. I don't get angry on my period. I hate that it's used as a defense like you're only angry at me because you're on your period. It is true that some women get angry on their period but I see it more that what you've done is still wrong but because we're on our period we have less inhibitions about telling you it. Women don't just get angry for no reason because they are on their period. They may get more angry than they would otherwise but it's not like we just get randomly angry. Dads that are alone with their kids are merely babysitting. Best friend is a single dad with sole custody of the child. Mom was charged with child abuse. Some of the things he's been told, the backhanded compliments, are just wrong. And boy don't get him started on changing stations in the men's bathrooms. Women need to know how to cook, clean and keep the house organized cause what would your husband think of you if you don't? All people need to know how to cook and clean because that's what it takes to be a functional human. You need to be able to cook to feed yourself and you need to be able to clean that so that you're not a disgusting slob. Men are providers and women are homemakers. If you're a tomboy or have a strong personality, you must be gay. Oh, definitely that one where women can't abuse men. Bright colored, sparkly toys are for girls. My 4 yo son loves that kind of stuff. It's always marketed towards girls. And the little shithead neighbor boy is always making fun of my kid for playing with them. People think it's damaging to let him play with girl toys. I grew up surrounded by nothing but girls, sibling, cousins, neighbors, all girls. I had my own boy things, nerf guns, ghostbusters, ninja turtles. But when it came to playing with others, it was mostly rainbow bright and barbies. Especially before I started school and started making friends of the same sex. Let your kid play how they want. Buy him that doll or that pretty magic wand he wants so bad. It's not hurting anyone and if it brings them joy. Don't stand in the way of that. In fact get yourself a pretty magic wand too and show him there is nothing to be ashamed of for liking what you like and having fun in whatever way you see fit. Boys can't get raped. Real men don't cry. Men only love women. Men are strong. Men only have one thing in mind and it's disgusting. And more. I'm a girl BTW. Girls are weak. You are a girl so act like one. And lots more that I can't remember RN. That men can't be raped because they're stronger and bigger than women and that they enjoy sex no matter what. Not how it works. If a woman is irritated or angry or just feeling beachy for a million different reasons, she's PMSI. Men have to come to everyone's rescue like we were made bulletproof or something. That all women want kids, and if they don't they surely must be some kind of monster, or there is something wrong with them. No, some of us don't want to force our crappy genetics on someone else. Some of us just really don't like kids. Some of us are more into our careers, or our hobbies, or just having peace and quiet. Some of us have chronic illnesses and have a hard enough time dealing with our own daily struggle. Some of us wouldn't make good moms for whatever reason, or any combination of any of these. Best comment of the day. One increasingly irritating trend.
that needs to die in a fire is a trend of shaming men who embrace traditionally masculine traits as being perpetrators of toxic masculinity and women who embrace traditionally feminine traits as having internalized misogyny. Last I checked the people who have this mindset fought four years against traditionalists who tried to force their ideas on others, yet now they're doing the exact same thing he who fights monsters I suppose.